Hey everyone, this is Nick Turchin, aka Turch, with Inside the Pylon, coming here today with Turch Tidbits segment on Eagles tight end Trey Burton. It's a lot of T's in the initial sentence, the opening sentence, and his recent signing with the Chicago Bears. This will probably be part of a larger piece on new Chicago head uh, coach Nagy and his weapons that he has. Uh, but for now, we're only going to focus on Trey Burton and his versatility as a bona fide threat from literally anywhere within the formation on the field from any uh, any personnel grouping. So getting right into it, uh, we're not going to try to make comparisons as to what player Burton would be like from players Nagy has worked with in the past. Head coach attitudes are often pretty close to Jack Nicholson's attitude when meeting Leonardo DiCaprio in The Departed, which is an attitude of what can I use you for? Um, taking Coaches like to take elements of old and new schemes they've used in the past and mesh them with the new personnel in the best way possible to, for the team in a very uh, fluid, uh, fluid manner that changes week over week. First example, jumping right into the tape here for Burton that we pull uh, is... Out of 12 personnel early in the season against against Arizona, uh, where he's going to run a seam fade in the smash concept versus cover one man. Just a quick note, his man coverage in this case is in between safety slash linebacker Buchanan, coming in at roughly 210 pounds. Uh, Burton is 235 pounds. Pretty solid separation there against a guy uh, pretty smaller than he is. And a nice catch for the touchdown. Fast forward here to, I believe it was week 13 against the Rams. Burton had a tremendous game. Here, the first play that we saw, the previous play was a, th was a trips left. This is a three by one with Burton as the X wide receiver on the right here. Runs a nice corner route. Uh, and the Rams are in cover two coverage, so that deep safety is going to be uh, contesting the ball here. Pretty good throw, pretty nice catch, great touchdown in the red zone. Next play here against Denver, just outside the red zone. Uh, Burton is going to run a, well, let's stop before we get there. Initially, we see a linebacker, and more importantly, Wentz sees a linebacker lined up against uh, Burton, uh, what presumably has to be man coverage with him out there. Uh, and, he, and Wentz pretty mercilessly uh, pumps on the slant and go, and the linebacker gets all turned around, and a very solid throw for a relatively not easy, but well-schemed uh, route and well-executed route for the touchdown. And so now we've seen him do well against defensive backs and against linebackers. It's really not too much of a contest in, in many cases. So to be a tight end in this league, the blocking really has to be there to be an every down player. Uh, we're going to start off on the pass protection side of things, and there's not much to start off on. He only was tagged for 10 pass protections this year from the tight end position. Uh, we disregarded uh, the times where he was in the slot, obviously, where that's not the case. He won't be blocking there. He did not give up a hurry or a quarterback hit from this position in those 10 those ten reps. For some reason, PFF has rated him 61.5 as a pass blocker. I don't understand that. You will see writers look at these numbers and say that he needs more. Uh, I don't think you can really knock him for that, that within the scheme and the, and the depth chart, uh, playing with Zach Ertz and Brent Selleck, it's pretty tough to get consistent reps with those blockers ahead of you. Here, though, uh, we see again in, against the Rams. Uh, Rams have the box loaded up here pretty well. I believe it's a seven-man rush. The protection scheme elected by the Eagles has Burton matched up against on the our right side there against uh, safety Joiner, who again is a much smaller man than he is. Pretty good scheme design against this blitz, getting Wentz out there. But the key was it's pretty solid technique by Burton, getting his hips around, uh, good level pad. Uh, he was he was he was able to keep up with the much speedier safety on a blitz. Now in the running game, the Eagles have a very diverse, or probably the most diverse running game in terms of scheme, uh, schemes, man and zone, uh, in the league. Here we see a quasi split zone coverage with Burton here on the 
as the Z wide receiver going to be blocking and sealing the outside uh, backside defender. Let the tape roll here. Now that's not the craziest or most difficult block, but the key is that the Eagles in this game with Zach Ertz being injured really had very little uh, concern with, uh, with, with uh, Burton playing in, uh, in the tight end position there and really ran their entire schemes and, and <clears throat> or sorry, their entire offense in a very, very, very successful way. And we see later for really his, what I would always say is his best block of the season. I don't mean to laugh when I say that because it was a very important block in a 7-7 game in the, in the, uh, in the NFC, or so the uh, NFC Divisional Series against the Falcons. Here uh, near the goal line, they're going to run G lead uh, with the uh, front side guard pulling to the outside. And uh, he will be really leading the way here and knocking out that linebacker pretty effectively. Uh, so clearly we see that he can make blocks in space. One of the more difficult things to, uh, to do in this league, especially against, especially against linebackers. So going now back to the passing game, we see his athleticism in full, really full display from the inner slot against what will end up being, as we roll the tape here, it's really an over route that he's running. Initially gets inside leverage against his man here he probably doesn't see that Ogletree is coming over to double him this concept this defensive concept the Rams are doubling the slot wide receivers and, and uh, I guess this is probably he was probably Wentz's second read here and Wentz once he sees the back of Ogletree will pull the trigger pretty aggressively with a very nice throw but what we see from this angle, same play, different angle. What we see is a pretty nice adjustment on that ball in traffic by Burton. And that's a real good theme that is really the, as we look at these second group of, of, uh, of passes, of receptions, I should say, his, he really competes for the ball uh, in an aggressive manner, which, which will help out any quarterback, especially a quarterback like, uh, like, like Trubisky, who, you know, not to knock him, but you know, didn't really have the most accurate year um, and uh, is a real good young player that just that that needs wide receivers like this, any receivers like this, competing for the ball. So this next example, the same Rams game. This is a you know a backside drag from Burton in the three-point tight end position, three-point stance tight end position against what will be uh, cover one with a tricky backside corner, which I believe is Webster. But we'll let the tape roll here. Pretty good separation, simple separation with the inside uh, leverage that he had. But if you watch that backside corner, <laughs> broke off what I think is his man route. Again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong on a lot of things on any of this. People can people can say what they what they need to. I'm always trying to learn here. Uh, the corner breaks off and really contests the ball as well. Bur uh, Burton makes a great reception in what ends up being a tight space and what is almost like a quasi double team there on an intermediate route. This next route, again, staying in the Rams game. This really was his best game this year. Um, he's the lone X wide receiver, again, in another 3 by one set. This one obviously different, though, being Bunch on this side, him being the lone wide receiver. He's going to run a comeback route against what ends up being cover four. Just note, this is third down and 10 here, so down in distance, and certainly whence his confidence Within Bur uh, with Burton growing during this game as we let the tape roll. And he goes on his progression, which started off on the left side of the field. He's probably reading Jeffrey, but had to come back to, uh, to Burton, and Burton ends up making a really nice catch, uh, again, jumping up and uh, being very competitive for the ball. The last example we have here, uh, same game, this time in the inside slot. Uh, he's part of a three by one. We're going to choose this behind the uh, behind the defense view. He's running a dig route this time, or this time again against cover four, uh, and he'll draw in the zone uh, inside linebacker Barron on our right side here, and we see Burton help his quarterback. So we see as Wentz looks off to the other side, 
Burton starts the dig route and then notices and kind of keeps up to his quarterback who gets in a little bit of trouble, breaks the route off and comes back to him, providing a target just in time as Wentz uh, gets hit pretty viciously, uh, as he did for most of this year. Uh, really nice athletic play, and it, but again shows initiative and really solid instincts um, for a player that's been around through multiple different systems now uh, in the NFL. And again, those types of plays are really going to be needed for a young quarterback that continues to grow and now is going to be growing within a, a new system with Nagy and learning that. And that really does it for today's quick recap. Like we said, we will come back uh, with a more in-depth review of all these new pieces of the Chicago offense as they come into the fold and the draft approaches. Uh, but today was certainly a, a, a first step, which will be a much different uh, offensive unit in Chicago.